Hello guys, this is Sammy from HackerBad.net and today I want to make a short tutorial on how to force games and programs into window mode without fail. 100% guaranteed if you follow this short list of things that you can do that I've learned while doing a lot of tutorials involving games and programs. So let's get started. The first one is a very obvious one that you've probably already checked out and that's obviously the menu in game or in your software. You Obviously, most of the time you will have a full screen option, window mode option, but I guess you've done that and it probably hasn't worked, which is why you're here. So, the second option that works a lot for me is this one, okay? You press Alt plus Enter and a lot of games especially will go into window mode if you have no obvious window mode that you can activate and that's one and for me one of the most effective ways of trying okay there's also an alternative to this which is CTRL control plus F which is said to work for a few Steam games okay this doesn't work all the time it works in like 20 percent of cases for me when there's no other obvious option then the next option which is also pretty effective and works a lot is to actually edit a file in many games there is a dot and i and i file or another kind of options file in which there is the window mode option alongside a lot of other options that you can either activate or deactivate okay so here you need a little bit of ingenuity um, you need to first find the file, okay? Most of the time it's in the actual game folder or in the C users where most games and software will save all your customized files and options. So once you've found such a options file, you just need to watch out for windowed or full screen options and then you just you know set it to one if you want a windowed mode for example as as you see here or to zero if you want it full screen it works both ways obviously all right that brings us to the next option which is the shortcut the shortcut edit um, this one is is something you will find a lot so you go into your properties and people tell you to add a um, hyphen W or hyphen window um, after the target location of the shortcut. Now this may or may not have worked back in the 2000s or something, I don't know. I just I notice it doesn't really work as much these days. It works in like two percent of games that I try, or maybe three. It's it's really not something that generally works. Well, even though a lot of people still say it does, it, it really. But it's worth a try if you really really need a window. Okay, so the next option we're gonna have a look at is compatibility okay compatibility and running in admin mode so what I usually do if at this point it still doesn't work in window mode I go into the compatibility options that Windows 7 and 8 I think offer you I'm not sure about XP I don't think all service packs for XP offer you that but here you can run the game for example in Vista mode in XP mode and so on okay that's quite useful it's it's a useful way of trying and then you combine that with running the game as an administrator and trying all the other options that I've shown you before alt enter and so on okay and if that still doesn't do it then there is software that you can use which is called wrapper software okay what wrapper software basically does is it just tries to wrap the extent of the the application into a window okay it's basically it's trying to create a window and execute 
the game or program within that window. Now that doesn't always work, especially with newer games. Um, this hasn't worked for me a lot of times, like two or three games I've been able to wrap into a window using this kind of application. But it's worth try if you really, really need that window option, okay? It can also impact the performance of the game, however, um, since I've only used this on older games, I really don't know how significant that would be if you were to use it on a on a more um, on a newer game that needs more resources. So there's a few of these programs that I have linked in the article that this video is made for and from and if you want to have a look at this article you can find a link in the description of this video and from that article you'll find these wrapper programs okay good let's go to the next and last opportunity or possibility that you can try well not try actually this one works always okay Okay, this is the ultimate way of forcing a game or software into window mode. And this is to use a virtual OS, a virtual operating system. Now what this means is basically you use software in order to run a second operating system in a window on your current operating system or PC. Alright, just like this. Here you have your operating system, in this case it's a Mac obviously, and here's the virtual operating system which is a Windows, okay? Now, how this works is basically you have your virtual OS or operating system in a window and the game or the program is run in full screen mode in that window, which results in you having a window <laughs> in which your application is on your first OS. Uh, this, this really sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Basically, you just have a second computer in a window on your first computer, and on that one you run the game, okay? So, problem about this one is that if you're trying to run a newer game or a demanding software on a virtual OS, you're gonna have to have a beast of a computer to actually uh, do that and perform decently at it, okay? Because running an operating system on your operating system is not really the most effective way of doing things, obviously. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like packing a car on top of a car and transporting it instead of just transporting the car by driving the car, just as a comparison. But this will work always okay if you have windows 8 and a game doesn't run in window mode on your windows 8 or 8.1 then all you do is you you set up a virtual operating system that is the same windows version that you currently have and you run the game on that one all right however you will need to know how to set up a operating system virtual operating system there are tutorials for that and sorry i can't include this in this one because, well, I would be talking for another half hour and we've gone on long enough. If you Google, um, for example, a virtual OS or a virtual OS um, software or windowed wrapper, then you will find all the software. Alternatively, you can link over to the article and there you have some of the most popular wrappers and virtual operating system softwares that you would need for this. So, yeah, we are at the end and I can guarantee you 100% that if the game that you're trying to run in window mode runs on your PC, then you will be able to run it in window mode if you really want to using all these methods. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys quite soon on HackerBot.net and God bless you.